What's up guys? In this video, we are going to break down a sample TMC practice question about when you should or shouldn't make changes to a patient's ventilator settings depending on how much or how little ventilatory support they need at that particular time. So if you're ready, let's get into it. A 74 kilogram male patient is intubated and receiving volume controlled assist controlled ventilation with the following settings. An FIL2 of 50%, set rate of 15 breaths per minute, and a set tidal volume of 550 milliliters. The patient's total respiratory rate is 29 breaths per minute and the following ABG results were obtained. pH of 7.53, PACO2 of 27, bicarb of 23, base excess of negative 2, a PAO2 of 82, and an SAO2 of 97%. Which of the following would you recommend? A. Increase the FIO2. B. Increase the set rate. C. Increase the set tidal volume. Or D. Add mechanical dead space. Do you know the answer? Let's break it down. The first thing you should do is interpret the AVG results. So by looking at the data that was given, you can see that the pH is increased, the PaCO2 is decreased, the bicarb and base excess are normal, and the oxygenation values are satisfactory as well. So this ABG can be interpreted as acute respiratory alkalosis. This basically means that the patient is hyperventilating and blowing off too much CO2. That is what's causing the pH to be increased outside of the normal range. Since the PaO2 and SaO2 values are normal, you do not need to make any adjustments to the FiO2 setting. And looking at the patient's spontaneous breathing rate, you can see that it's already way too fast, so you definitely do not need to increase the rate. So that rules out A and B automatically. So next we'll look at C, which says to increase the set tidal volume. By looking at the patient's body weight, which is 74 kilograms, you can quickly check to see if the tidal volume setting is appropriate. So all you have to do is take the tidal volume of 550 milliliters divided by the weight of 74 kilograms and that gives you 7.4 milliliters per kilogram. This value does fall within the normal range of 5 to 10 milliliters per kilogram and this confirms that the tidal volume setting is appropriate. So now we can rule out C as well. And that means that only one answer choice remains and it's to add mechanical dead space which is the best option for this patient in this case. Adding mechanical dead space to the circuit is a method for treating hyperventilation. It works because the patient will essentially rebreathe the gas from their anatomic dead space, which will in turn increase the PaCO2 level. So for the TMC exam, please remember that if a patient is hyperventilating and has a decreased PaCO2, you should try to decrease the minute ventilation by either decreasing the rate or decreasing the tidal volume. But of course, not only that, you can also increase the amount of dead space, which will increase the PaCO2 value as well. So by using the process of elimination and breaking it all down, we could determine that the correct answer has to be D, add mechanical dead space. So there you have it. That wraps up this video on making changes to a patient's ventilator settings and I hope that you found it helpful going through and breaking down the sample TMC practice questions. If so, then you are in luck because this only scratches the surface of what we have to offer for our students. As I always say, going through practice questions is by far one of the best methods to prepare for and pass the TMC exam. And that is why so many of our students have been having such success here lately. If you want to get access to our entire massive bank of practice questions, just like the one in this video, you can consider checking out our TMC test bank, where we have over 800 of these bad boys that cover every single topic that you need to know for the TMC exam. 
So if you're interested, I will drop a link down below in the description. And also, if you'd like to get our practice questions delivered straight to your inbox on a daily basis, you can consider signing up for our Practice Questions Pro membership, where the members get a brand new practice questions straight to their inbox every day, and these little tidbits of knowledge over time add up to massive results. It costs less than one of those fancy cups of coffee that all the kids are drinking these days. So if you're interested, I will drop a link to that as well down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what topics you want us to cover next. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend.